First, WGCI's Tone Capone is live in Andersonville at a unique cafe dedicated to, yes, pie. Yeah, pies, that's right. Hanging out at First Slice Pie Cafe today, gonna learn all about pies, that's right. Plus, they make other things too, and they have a really, really cool mission here. We'll get to all that in a minute. More Jam with you. All right, let's check back in with Tone Capone. He's live in Andersonville with the uh, First Slice of Pie Cafe. Yes, absolutely. It's all about pies right now at the First Slice Pie Cafe. Annette, how you doing? Fine, Tone. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the jam being here this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Now, let's get into this. Okay. It is pies, 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 right? Yes. But also, you guys have a really cool mission statement. Let's talk about that first. Yes. First Slice Pie Cafe, as the name implies, pies are a specialty. Mm -hmm. We do have also a full service cafe, but pies are things that we're known for. Mm -hmm. First Slice Pie Cafe is a um, collection of three pies in Chicago, each in a different neighborhood. This one here is Ravenswood Manor. We're also in Ravenswood and in Andersonville. Um, it was started uh, by a woman, Mary Ellen Diaz, and uh, like I said, the name implies it's a pie cafe, but much more. First Slice reflects our commitment right. to uh, the first slice giving back to the needy and the homeless. We offer the first slice of pie to them. I love that. I love that. Now, let's get into the pies now. Let's get into the pies. <laughs> what do we have here? Today, I plated a few of those for you. This here is our seasonal pie. Okay. It's the uh, raspberry cheesecake with Oreo crust. This is one oh, yeah. that we get usually every spring. Okay. Um, I don't know if you need that. People like it very much. They ask for it all year long. Okay. So that's that one. Okay. This one here is our one of our specialties here, the French silk pie. Okay. Uh, probably one of our most well-ordered pies. Also delicious. Delicious. <laughs> and uh, this pie here. Pies in the morning. That's Chris. right. What a job. Cinderella. What a life. <laughs> I know, right? And this is this good old American <laughs> apple pie, American right? American apple pie. Uh, food and wine said it one, is one of the best uh, apple pies in the country. So wow. um, Thanksgiving time, these pies, uh, we sell hundreds and hundreds of these pies. Right. And then you guys not only pies, though, you also offer like a breakfast menu. We do. Things, right? Each of our cafes have a slightly different menu. This one here has Sunday brunch and we have a pizza Friday. Um, our Andersonville one has slightly different hours and focuses on different things. I say our, uh, our Ravenswood one is in the Little Street Gallery. But um, we do have quiches, we have sandwiches, soups, and salads. And these are things that we also use for our um, subscriber program, which I'll tell you about a little bit later. Okay, please tell us about that a little bit later. And we're going to find out there's a couple great events happening. Yes. And also, I want to know what's the most popular pie. We'll get to that in a minute. Back to you guys in the studio. WGCI's Tone Capone is checking out a sweet way to start your morning. Hey, Tone. Hey, what's up? It's a great way to start your morning. First Slice Pie Cafe. I got my girl, Annette. How you doing, Annette? Not bad, Tone. Nice the, to have you here. Now, National Pie Day is coming up. It sure is. Okay, less, they got to they got to get their orders in, right? Less than two weeks from now is Pie Day. It's on a Saturday this year. The best holiday there is. Better than Christmas, any of the holidays. Pie Day. So. <laughs> Uh, people come in here, they put their orders in, we have some special promotions, uh, pie being 3.14, the pie um, is going to be offered for that price, we'll have free pie bites between 3 and 4 in all our cafes. Nice, nice. Now what is the, the most popular pie? What is your favorite pie? My favorite is the key lime pie. Alright, let let's, let's, let's get a slice of that out here. All right. Ah, nice. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and keep this uh, and uh, yeah, uh, more jam in a minute. I'm gonna have this pie right quick. This key lime. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, Is it good? Oh man. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. And WGCI's Tone Capone joins us live from the city's north side, talking pie. Hey, Tone. That's right, that's right, talking pie. First Slice Pie Cafe here with Annette. Now let's talk about the subscription program. Sure. Um, I had mentioned earlier that First Slice was founded by Mary Ellen Diaz um, with an eye for the community, both in the cafes that we reside in and our outreach community. And one of the ways that we, found, excuse me, that we fund um, our outreach is through our subscriber program, which is a prepared meal program that we offer. Um, guests can sign up. Um, this is a 
menu that we offer. Each week they'll come in and uh, choose three of these. We prepare them, we freeze them, and folks can come and take them home, use them during the week. And um, next week they choose a new menu. And so um, it's, a, it's a great thing for our cafe because it funds our outreach and for folks that are, have busy lives. I love it, I yeah. love it. I saw that on there, I saw, wait a minute, I saw it, a Maryland crab cake, chipotle <laughs> aloe. Yeah, yeah, man, I, I'm gonna talk about that. More than jam in a minute. Woo, give me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the one. Yeah. That's the Hey, what's up? That's right, back at First Slice Pie Cafe, hanging out my friend, and man, how you doing? Now, I wanna jump right into it. You guys have a, have a great event. It's the MP Bowl event. Yes, Talk it is. Everybody. Sure. I mentioned earlier that we uh, fund some of our outreach activities with programs and events. Big one coming up is our 13th annual MP Bowls event. It is an event where the Lil, it's held at the Little Street Gallery. Potters make bowls, donate them to First Slice, we have a big event where um, you can, customers come in, they pay $25, we make the soup, you can have unlimited soup, $25 to take home the bowl when you're done. Oh, I love it. So it's beautiful, there's a silent auction as well, so we're really excited about that. Coincidentally, that's the same weekend as Pi Day, so we've got Pi Day coming up, our empty bowls, I mentioned our subscriber program, yes. which also funds our outreach activity. Uh, so all these things are, exciting and important and we're really happy to be able to help the community and and continue we're helpful grateful for the community support for yeah. slice i mean the one thing i like about you guys is you guys are sitting right in the middle of the community how yes. does that feel talking to you it's about wonderful it? i live in what the community that i work in so um it's a place where neighbors come in they know each other children come in they grow up and we get to see them grow up the baristas at all the different locations know the people that come in because they're regulars. We're right. in the community, we're a local place. Our owner is Mary Ellen Diaz, a wonderful woman with a passion and a vision. She started this years ago as a way to give back to the community. Nothing. So I'm grateful to know her. Uh, we worked together years ago at a fine dining restaurant. So um, that's another thing. She. We're in the community, and we're also helping with our outreach program. Love so, it, love it, love anyway. it. Make sure you guys stop by First Slice Pie Cafe. Do not miss it. They're great events. They're doing great things in the community, and I'm going to take a lot of these pots home. Thanks for uh, fo focusing on us today, Tone. It was really wonderful meeting you, yeah, and thanks to the Jam as well.